In this video, we will prove the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality using physics. Let's say we have a perfectly flat surface, and I can put a wood slide on top of it. There is no friction at all between the wood slide and the surface, so the wood slide can move freely without any energy dissipation. I can put another wood slide on top of it, but this time there is friction between the wood slides. I can add one more slide on top of the second one, so we have a stack of three. The wood slides are very, very long, so their movement are relatively small horizontally compared to their size. Also, there is no air resistance or other frictions, just like our physics classroom. The whole system is initialized with the following conditions. They have different masses and different initial velocities. If there is no friction, that each slide will just keep moving at its own original speed. But that's impossible because the friction force will accelerate the slower ones and decelerate the faster ones. So let's roll back and see what the reality will look like. The three velocities will converge to the same one because as long as there is velocity difference, there will be friction forces that tries to minimize the difference. The final velocity can be calculated using the conservation of momentum. While the conservation of energy says our initial kinetic energy will be larger than our final kinetic energy because of energy dissipation. We can substitute the final velocity into the inequality of our energies. Cleaning the terms, we will find that this expression is almost the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality. Let's write it down more concisely and rewrite m as a square and v as b over a. Then we recover the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality. Recall that in order to have an equal sign, b must be proportional to a. And in this physics setting, it means exactly the initial velocities must be the same. So there will be no friction and no energy dissipation. How amazing. I first found this example in a talk by Professor Tadashi Tokida. You can find the link of the talk in the description, and I have a playlist of videos that are based on his ideas and examples.